Thank you. A peak and landmark deflated by severe storms just last month. Well, that is still out of air. Our own Shabnam Dinesh joins us live in studio to share how restoration efforts are going at Avanti's Dome. Shabnam? Well, Shelby, the manager of Avanti's Dome says it will be a few months before the giant marshmallow is ready for events. But that's not stopping them from planning ahead. Avanti's dome is still down after severe storms tore through in June. If you're coming in, you don't see the giant pillow or marshmallow in the middle of the field. It's kind of weird. Manager Brian Wonders says they are still waiting on insurance quotes to get the dome back up, but they have not stopped booking events. We're still working with as far as contracts we had and still working on doing new contracts. So once it's up again, we hit the ground running, that there's not dead time trying to reschedule stuff. Wonders says they hope to have the dome up by the winter. He says summer is their slow season, but some events still won't be able to happen as planned. Pet Fest is one of those affected events, hosted by Tails, a local nonprofit that helps pets get adopted. It's been our big fundraiser, so it's it's hard, but hopefully if we are able to still have it, we'll you know, find another venue. He says the event usually draws a thousand people and they raise five to ten thousand dollars. Wonder says even though the dome is closed, the outdoor field and banquet rooms remain open for business. Kind of spinning around different directions you feel like at times and a lot on some of the events it's happening to let people know yes we are still open, these events are still happening. Now, Avanti's is holding, holding, hosting multiple events this weekend. On Saturday, there is a Royal Princess Tea Party featuring etiquette lessons from Belle and Ariel. And on Sunday, live music from local band Bogart Jones. Shelby? All right, Shelby.